In this video, I'd like to illustrate the difference between a trig function and its inverse trig function. Here we'll be using tangent as the function that we're studying. All right, in this example, x is opposite the 50 degree angle. 10 feet is adjacent to the 50 degree angle. The hypotenuse here is uh, unmarked. Uh, since we have opposite and adjacent, we're going to use tangent. We know that the tangent of 50 degrees is equal to the length of its opposite side divided by the length of its adjacent side. Now to solve for x, we'll treat this as a proportion where we're going to cross multiply and so we get x times 1, or just x, is equal to 10 times the tangent of 50 degrees. Now we can put this into the calculator, 10 multiplied by the tangent of 50 degrees and we get approximately that x is 11.9 feet. Okay, so that's using the tangent function. Right, now what I'd like to do is uh, turn this around and let's make a problem where we don't know the angle. So suppose we had a right triangle where we knew uh, that the opposite side was 15 feet and that the adjacent side was uh, let's say 23 feet. And our goal here is to locate the value of angle alpha. Well since 15 is opposite the alpha and 23 is adjacent to the alpha we know that this is tangent but since we're trying to find the missing angle what we want to do is use the inverse tangent. Um, opposite over adjacent. Now in your calculator you'll probably have to do something like hit the second button before you hit the tangent button uh, which will give you this inverse tangent uh, feature. You'll notice the little negative one as a superscript. Uh, so we'll do the inverse tangent of 15 divided by 23 and that should give you approximately 33.1 degrees. That means that this angle is approximately 33.1 degrees.